Good afternoon guys and welcome to this edition of High Clopedia. Um, the last few days have been super, super hot. So what's the best thing to do when the weather is hot? Buy ice cream. Eat ice cream, yeah. And um, as you know, we live in Badok and there are a few fancy ice cream places in and around the Badok area. You see the east is the best. So me and Everest, we are going to sample three of Badok's finest ice cream establishments and compare and contrast and give them a rating out of three, right? All right, so today the first one we're going to visit is one that actually my family and I have visited a few times in the past because we've known about this place for the longest. The other two we only just recently discovered, so we've only visited them once or twice. But this one we're really familiar with and we really like it, so we thought we'd start with this one. It's have called. I ever tried it? Yeah, but not for a while. This one is called Fat Cat and it's just like five minutes walk from Budok Mall. The reason I like Fat Cat is because they actually have alcoholic ice cream. <laughs> like a, a treat for a hard-working adult like myself. Anyway, so let's go and check out some Fat Cat. Okay, so we've been in and got our ice cream. I went, they only had one alcoholic ice cream today. This is butter beer. And I got a cone because I love cones. And all those delicious flavors of ice cream. And tell everybody, what did you get? Vanilla. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna tuck in now and um, see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm, first impression is butter beer. It actually, the name describes it really well. It's very buttery and it also tastes like beer, funnily mm. enough. But uh, yeah, I'm quite, it's nice. How's your vanilla? Vanilla y. Vanilla y, okay, that's a good description. I hope I don't get too drunk after I eat this one. Because I gotta ride my bike home afterwards. Drink driving is a big no no. Delicious. The cone is really nice. It's very thin and it's got really nice flavor. And I think it's homemade. It's really nice. Mm. Okay guys, so we finished our ice cream. I didn't get a waffle from this place because I've had them in the past and I know what they taste like and they're, they're pretty good. But um, overall, I really enjoyed my first, I think it's my first ever alcoholic ice cream. Um, it's quite enjoyable. The taste was uh, interesting and very authentic. And he's finished off his vanilla. So we're gonna give it a fat cat, a rating out of three. Three, two, one. Two point three five. points for me. I really enjoyed mine. You gave it two point five. Why did you give it two point five? Because I don't like the taste of vanilla, and the way, the reason I chose vanilla is because I've never tried vanilla before. A bit like his mother. His mother doesn't like vanilla either. But I like vanilla, and I tried it, and I thought it was really nice. So, out of six, we've got five point five for Fat Cat. So, if you want some nice alcoholic ice cream. Get your butts down to Badok.
right, so the second place that we've been to is called Three's a Crowd and it's right next to Tampines West MRT station which is just over there and we got a churros waffle and two scoops of ice cream double chocolate is one scoop and the second scoop is speculoos which is made with biscoff biscuits so uh, let's give it a try okay wow oh so you've got waffle marshmallows chocolate sauce and toasted marshmallows mm. the churro waffle is freshly cooked and um it's very crisp and uh, nice taste. Now I'm going to try with some ice cream. This is the Speculoos, the Biscoff flavour. The Biscoff taste is not too overwhelming, so it's uh, it's just right in my opinion. Although some people might like a bit more Biscoff flavour. How's the double chocolate? Very nice. You like the waffle? Yeah. I must say, I am a Biscoff fan, although I usually like to dip them in my tea, like a good old-fashioned English fella. But uh, this ice cream is really good. Let's try the double chalk. Wow. That is super chocolatey, so nice. On dropping. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, I'm gonna beat more of that one. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. choice. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> Don't eat it. Is it good? Mm. I don't have a particularly sweet tooth, but I must say I am enjoying this. And I know somebody else who is. <laughs> I think eating outside actually adds to the fun because by the time you get down to the second part of the waffle, the ice cream has melted and soaked into the waffle. So the first part of the waffle is crispy, but now the second part is kind of soggy and soaked up all the ice cream and it's, um, it's really nice. All right, so we finished our churros waffle with two scoops of ice cream from three's a crowd and now we're going to rate it out of three are you ready yeah. three two one three stars what was the best part for you ice cream the ice cream actually for me i think the waffle was the best and the ice cream was nice too and not too overpowering so all together it's a really solid ice cream package Toasted quite expensive but i think actually it's probably worth it right yeah good value for money for some top quality ice cream and a lovely waffle okay guys the third and final posh ice cream place of Badok that we're going to today is one that i've only recently discovered it's called milk and honey i believe it used to be located somewhere else in singapore before but i just found out it was here about three weeks ago and uh, so let's go and check it out Hello. so we got a buddy meal which is a waffle two scoops of ice cream we've got them separately and a lemon drink and i think it was 14.50 was it yeah for 14.50 ice lemon tea um i got tiramisu flavor and didi got rocha ferrero rocha flavor so uh, let's tuck in and give it a whirl i'm so hungry Mm. Really strong tiramisu flavor off the bat, really nice with a warm waffle. It's quite sunny today as well, so it's melting quickly. Mm. The waffle's really, really light, not overcooked. It's nice. 
Wow, that's a big piece of chocolate there. How's yours? Good. Does it taste like Russia? No? I'm gonna try a bit of Russia now. Mm. Mr. President, with this waffle ice cream, you're spoiling us. Mm. Okay, let's try the drink. That's nice. I know why you don't like it. He doesn't like the ice lemon tea, you know why? Because it doesn't have tons of sugar in it, that's why. It's actually not too sweet, it's really nice. Perfect for me. But he still grabs it from me to drink. Okay guys, we have just finished our waffle and ice cream from Milk and Honey Gelato in Badok. It's right by Fengshan Food Center. Um, what did you think, was it nice? I really enjoyed my um, tiramisu and he had Rocher flavour. Okay, so it's time to give it a rating now. Out of three. Ready? One, two, three. Three stars for me. The no, I'm getting one. Now I'm getting three. Okay. What did you like about it? Chocolate. Chocolate is easy to please. Uh, for me, the tiramisu, the flavour was really authentic and it even had the ladies fingers biscuits inside the waffle was really fresh very light and fluffy really enjoyed it all right guys so we've come to the end of our badok fancy ice cream tour we tried three places and to be honest all three of them were really good right i don't think we're going to do any more though because uh, my waistline is expanding as we speak if you enjoy ice cream then you should definitely come down and check out any one of these places as they're all pretty good so that's it for today don't forget if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up like. and <laughs> he doesn't like it when i say thumbs up all right give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and come back every saturday morning for some more content until next time guys take it easy